Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Audemars Piguet millinery Maserati Dual Time. You can see this reference 26150OR on our website, purchase it there. And if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also click on the card in the upper right hand corner of this screen at any time during the video to see our full listing for the watch with additional accessories included, high resolution images, and naturally full pricing details. Now on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see that this is the, well, what one might call it the second generation of the millinery case. The original from 1995 was decidedly petite, although unusual in shape, it was only 38 millimeters across the broad, so some might have called it a bit undersized for modern tastes. No such trouble here. This watch is 47 millimeters across the broad of the case and 49.5 from extremity to extremity, that is lug to lug. However, it is nice and thin. 10 millimeters, you can see that with the stepped flank of the bezel in the case, it's actually easy for a tight sleeve or dress cuff to ride up and over this rather unusually shaped watch. Now, it is an easy watch to wear on a smaller wrist like mine. I would say even if your wrist is as small as 14 centimeters in circumference, you can see it's really not overhanging or testing the limits of my wrist. So down to 14 centimeters, you should be able to wear this one with security and proportion. And again, because it's it's so broad, really more broad in, uh, in aesthetic and ergonomics than tall, you can wear it along your wrist more than across your wrist. It wears well on a small one. Now the nice thing is it's also wonderfully heavy. So it has that quality of being easy to wear on a smaller wrist without sacrificing the precious metal heft and pull that everyone, let's face it, wants from a high-end watch in full gold. Now it also has a solid gold case back commemorating the 90th anniversary of Maserati. This watch came out for 2004 Maserati established in 1914 by the five Maserati brothers. So the watch, because of that huge solid case back, has very impressive mass in spite of not being very thick. Now the watch is paired with a beautiful strap that has semi-conforming spring bars such as they do trace the arc of the case and they do close the gap leaving very little daylight. It's a nice integrated look, but it doesn't force the strap to billow out to flare and fight the curve of your wrist. You can pull this one down tight if you have that smaller wrist like mine. Now you'll be familiar with this clasp as featured on many high-end Audemars Piguet full gold references. Single fold deployant, fully finished inside and out, high polish with the Audemars Piguet marquee. It's a gorgeous piece and it's nice that it is so substantial because with its heft it does a good job of counterbalancing the mass of this millinery dual time case such that it doesn't want to porpoise or roll over your wrist. If you like to wear it light, the watch is nicely balanced so a loose fit is not going to create a capsized watch on your wrist. Now the case is actually more nuanced than you might think at first glance, although the shape of it is what catches your gaze at first. There's a tremendous amount of contrasting finish, satin and polished. The highlights are beautiful and you can see that even the satin finish, take a look at the flanks of the lugs and the flank of the case. The satin finish is horizontal on the case, vertical on the lug. There's also a great deal of articulation with stepped lugs and a stepped bezel atop a rounded case. It's a clever and one might even say very intricate shape. There's a lot going on and it rewards repeat viewing. So too does the dial. Now the dial of this watch is in the fashion of the modern millinery. Let's call it the phase two millinery. Very asymmetrical and calculated in that sense. This is a watch that's off-centered for effect. It's a nice contrast to the symmetry of the ovoid case. What you're looking at essentially is the Jezier LeCoultre dual time caliber, generally known as the 828, but the way the display's been rendered, you wouldn't recognize it at first glance. First of all, the power reserve scale here is massive. It is a huge sweep across the dial, anchored at the center by a Maserati Trident. This is still a 40, 42 hour power reserve, but splayed out over a huge physical space. Now you can see the dual time well, display at center with three separate subdials, and it's best to dissect them in turn. First, up here at 2 o'clock, this has nothing to do with the dual time display other than the fact that it is keyed to the local time at center. This is your 31 day date. Now, anchored at 6 o'clock, or what might be loosely in interpreted as 6 o'clock, is the second time zone. This is your reference time zone. This is the place you are not, but you're tracking it and you have AM PM distinction right next to it in the third and smallest sub-register. So you can see what you're looking at right here 
is approximately 8.25 and now you can see 8.25 a.m. because the a.m. p.m. indicator is in the light zone of the dial. Now everything is beautifully done. The matte is perfect for a dial of this size. It doesn't have glossy glare. The contrast is superb with the use of rose gold, red, gray, silver, and black elements. And although the watch is very, shall we say, avant-garde, at the same time, it's easy to read the time of day from the dial once you get used to it. Now, of course, it is automatic winding, and the caliber, which Audemars Piguet refers to as the 2329 2846 has a uh, bi directional winding, very smooth, courtesy of Jischer Lecoultre to modern 4 hertz beat rate or 28,800 vibrations per hour. It's only 3 ATM water resistant, so although the watch is exuberant and large like a sports watch, it should nevertheless be handled like a dress watch. And of course, with the dual time complication, you do have what might be considered the ultimate convenient complication for travelers or simply those who have friends and family in far-flung locales. You can see this Audemars Piguet Millinery Maserati Dual Time and purchase it on our website.